how long do I have to run to burn off the calories of a Big Mac and fries? Every year, 900 million Big Macs are sold around the globe. Easily one of the most eaten and beloved meals there is. But how many calories are in a Big Mac and how long you actually have to run just to burn off the calories that are in a Big Mac and a medium fries? So let's find out. So here I have a Big Mac and a medium sized fries. The plan is to eat this first, then go out and run and see how long I have to run to burn off the calories from the Big Mac and the medium fries. I have a feeling that eating is gonna be the easy part. And it was. Eating a Big Mac and fries is not that challenging, but it's a lot of calories and such small amounts of food. So I was a bit curious to see how it would play out running straight after eating it. Easy part done. Now the hard part left. Running until I've burned 910 calories. I don't really have a plan. Just running. See how far I gotta run to burn off. 910 calories so far feels good well i've been running for five minutes so it wouldn't be a good start if it didn't feel good i kept a moderate steady pace and tempo after a while i started aiming for about 100 calories for every 10th minute just crossed the 10 minute mark and i'm at 117 calories based on that with this tempo i gotta run for at least 90 minutes 20 minutes found this nice place it is about a three kilometer run around it's like a farm horse farm and stuff it kind of looks like the british or english countryside it's nice that's my boat viking boat 25 minutes in 241 calories it goes kind of fast but it also takes a while so i'm gonna add some Short sprints, intervals. Let's go. I'm done in the forest. Looks like the road is there to the city. But I found like, I don't want to run on the road or in the city. It's more fun in the woods. So I found like this shortcut. I don't know if it's a shortcut, but at least it's, oh shit, it smells like shit. Oh, it smells like horse shit. Okay. But yeah, it's at least a small road in the woods. But yeah, I'm gonna continue going in here, in the forest, get a little adventure at the same time. And also it's a bit uphill, so also gets my poles going a little bit higher. But yeah, shit is nice. Look at this. Warm up, 109, 110. Oh, it's more than 110. Look at this. You don't even see like the start. It's all the way down there. Hopefully, yeah, it's downhill. The pulse 113. Oh shit, it's one that. Look at this. Ah, oh, so nice. Aye, aye, aye. Oh shit. If you run around in the forest, around the horse farm, watch the ground. Okay, so we're almost one third. And that's 610 calories left. I'm starting to feel it a little bit. I'll slow down just while I'm talking. The first 34 minutes was okay, but I'm not a runner, so starting to feel it. Also starting to feel the Big Mac and the fries a little bit. About halfway, 455 calories, 45 minutes. And I gotta be honest, I started out with kind of a high spirit, easy on the toes, felt good, but now it's starting to get real boring and I'm only halfway. So gotta do the same here, yeah, probably another 45 minutes. Oh, pace is slowing down. I'm getting heavy, feeling heavy. Starting to feel the Big Mac too. I still had 45 minutes or so to go and I really didn't want to run the same round one more time. So it was time to run more towards the city. The first 45 minutes was all right, but thinking about the fact that I still had 45 minutes left was honestly not very motivational, but time to get it together and just get it done. Cross the one hour mark and we're at 650 calories. So just hit 810, 110 calories. That means 10 calories left. Oh, I'm getting tired. And I feel like the more like heavy I feel, the more tired I get. Only 100 calories left. Legs are starting to feel a bit heavy, but time to put in that last extra gear and finish off strong. Also had a nice lake view for the finale, which helped out. Job done. 
910 calories took about one hour and 23 minutes kind of nice spot to finish off right here down by the river if the river didn't look like this hopefully you see it on camera it looks like shit kind of looks like a crocodile or snake or something will jump out anytime so yeah i'm not getting in here it's oil as well <sighs> it was rough i can't remember the last time i ran for half an hour and it's kind of like this it feels good but it's boring in the first 30 minutes was decent it was nice felt good but then it's like boring it started to feel heavy and uh yeah it's boring when you run but it feels damn good when you're done to be honest wow that felt good oh yeah, yeah. please subscribe like and see you in the next video